Hey guys, what's going on? My name is Jay and welcome back to another episode of Minecraft Survival from the Realm of Course. Now, in today's episode, uh, as you can see, I've been doing a bit of renovations or excavations around here. I've even gone ahead and added in a new, uh, like, hexagon circle thing down here. And yes, we've, we've carved into the mountain again, so I do need to do some terraforming there. But most importantly, we've carved into our uh, storage system here, which... To be honest, I haven't been using I, I've, I think I brushed over it in the last episode, but I've just got, like, junk everywhere. The only things that are sorted out are, like, here. I've also got, like, all the junk from the nether that we got uh, in here as well. So, yeah, I need to sort something out with this. I've also just built, like, a little kelp farm, which hasn't produced any kelp yet. But if we go up here, you'll be able to see what I've got going on, obviously. Oops, got the observer there. And we've just got some kelp in here with the uh, the old pistons right down there. So hopefully we'll uh, actually it just needs to grow a tiny bit more, and then we'll get some we'll get some kelp action going on there. But yeah, for today's episode, I want to go ahead and create an automatic storage system because I actually want a storage system that I'm going to use. And what better way to do that than actually go down to Y level 40 because I want a I sort of want an area where, you know, I can expand the storage area if I need to. So, I'm um, basically, I think, just going to get into the middle of this section here and mine all the way down to Y40. And uh, then we'll have, like, a water elevator coming out. So, I might choose some sort of stained glass for the water elevator and we'll just have pillars coming up all the way to the roof. Um, but, yeah, I'm going to get down to Y level 40 which is a fair way down and I'm just going to mine like this and then we'll clear out a bit of an area for our storage system and uh, get cracking. Alright so we've already encountered some minor issues while uh, mining this out. I actually decided to go down to uh, 8, Y level 8 and I don't know why that's just because um, you know while we're digging this out we can find some diamonds and things but yeah we've got this little situation going on here. right? Um, oh no, okay, well I need to go get some more water now, uh, okay, I thought, I, th I, th I thought it was a bit weird that the lava was just there, maybe I can like, no, nah, there's nothing up there to, I haven't got my bubble vader in here just yet as well, but you can sort of just like sprint swim up here, you know how you do the, Look at me, I'm not even moving. Whee! And it actually gets you right to the top uh, before you run out of breath, but I will put bubbles in there eventually. We need to beautify the tunnel a little bit as well. I want to put some lights and things in here and make it not all cobblestone and stone and all the random mixed in blocks that are in there. Um, but yeah, we need to clear out that lava and then dig out an area down there to uh, put our storage system in so I'm going 11 by 11 at the moment and I'm just wanting to keep the uh, water stream like right in the center and yeah hopefully things will be looking good all right so we've got a area here cleared out which is about 22 by 22 uh, or 23 by 23 because there's this one block in the middle here too uh, I've also gone ahead and changed the system for the water elevators here which is just two water streams here and uh, that's just because when we have the stained glass down here, I was thinking where would we have the pressure plate or the button that would uh, change it from magma to soul sand to bring us up or down. So that would have looked a little bit messy. So I've just decided to go with a two two water elevators. And uh, yeah, it's, it's a pretty big space in here. I think it's just feeling maybe like a little bit cramped. You can see how big the area is in here now. But we just need to raise the roof. So... Now that we've got the roof extended, we have got some diamonds here. And now you can see why I wanted to bring it down to Y level 8. I didn't get many from that one, but hopefully we'll get a bigger vein in this one. Let's go and see how many diamonds we can get. I did leave these for when I got back to recording. And, oh, maybe I should mine out the other side a little bit more as well. Alright, let's go check the other side again. Just, just we'll, we'll mine out around it a little bit so we can see if there's any more diamonds hiding around in here. And there is. There's two, two more veins. Is that it? Yep. Okay, so that's it. Alright, so we got 13 diamonds. 
And now I've basically got one of our uh, elevators complete. It looks like it's still flowing down, but it should be all water sources as I've placed kelp in. So we can place our soul sand in there like so. And there are no button. Uh, oh, there we go. There are bubbles. And I've also gone ahead and added light sources in here and changed all of the uh, textures as well. So there's a mix of andesite, cobble, and I'm going to take some damage there. It's not so good. Maybe I should change something here. Maybe I should change how high it goes. Maybe I could just put like a slab or something there. Alright, so I've had to end up with a design like this. Uh, the glass panes in the center here were filling in with water whenever I put this water source here. I think it's looking pretty good. It could be better, but uh, that's what we're working with right now. Uh, so all that we've got left to do is, I haven't actually filled in uh, these walls here, so I've got to do that as well. And I've got to finish off this uh, water column too. So I've got to make this all water sources and add in the uh, magma block there as well. But I just wanted to get started on... Uh, filling in this room so I'll start from maybe this corner here and we'll lay out our chests so I want uh, like an acacia pillar uh, either side of this so if I go up like that and then we can have um, maybe like our chests in here inset a little bit right maybe um, let me grab out my chests. So we'll have have them like this, of course, so that we can fit more in. I need a. I'm gonna need to mine out this bit too here, so I can actually get in there. Oops. So we can have our chests in like this, you know, and they can go maybe up to there, or. Actually, they don't even need to go that high because I'm, like, the way I'm going to do the storage, maybe, oh, I might have to change how I was planning on doing the redstone if I'm going to going to set them up that high. Uh, but, basically, it'll go something a bit like this. And down, I'm not really too worried about that iron. And then we can have, like, some, something like that. Oops. And boom. And then we can bring that out there as well. And I might actually just have... Yeah, something like that actually works. Um, yeah, I'll have to figure it out a little bit more. Maybe I'll get some trap chests as well. Uh, trap doors to go on the sides of these. Um just to make it look like it fits in a little bit more. I'll also have to change the stuff that's behind here because you can sort of see that. Uh, but that's basically how it's going to go. Uh, obviously behind here we'll have our redstone so we'll have our hoppers and things go in there. Um, I will need to change it up a little bit. Maybe, maybe if we had these come across here again. Oops. Actually, yeah, like that. That would work. Oops. <laughs> Can't place blocks if my life depended on it. Oh my god. Um, yeah, we could have it like that. And we could go up three. And then... I don't know what would be up there, actually. I can't I can't even get up there. You could have another three chests up there. And you could have a water stream. You could have it so that... You have a water stream at the top there. Going across and sorting all the items into these chests, and then another water stream across here. I'll, I'll have to play around a little bit and see if I can actually get that to work. Um, but that could could actually be how we do this. Uh, so it'll look a little something like I'll just get these last two chests in on this side. So it'll look a little something like that, which is not too bad in my opinion. Maybe I can. Maybe I can like. I really can't place blocks right now. I'm going to play around with this for a little bit and see what we come up with. Alrighty guys, a lot has been done. This is what we're working with now. I think it's looking a lot better than the stained glass that I had. It's just, uh, the stained glass just didn't look very good at all. And this is what I've also got going working downstairs as well. So I've actually filled in all of these columns. I've got the magma block in place now as well. So this is all looking pretty nice. It's all nice and lit up when you're on your way down. And you've got the bubbles there so you don't run out of breath too. And down here, 
we've got basically the same thing so we've got the stripped uh, spruce columns here I've also added in these like trap doors here which sort of make it look like a, a supported beam I've got all the chests in place um, I'm not really too sure what we're going to do with these spots right here uh, we might add more chests but I'm really not too sure and it's all looking pretty good it's, it's looking pretty good I need to get a ceiling on in here and also for the floor I'm thinking about mining this like all the way down to bedrock basically which is not too far away it's quite a ways down but if we mine all this out to bedrock and then place in like a I was thinking like a black stained glass for the floor but I was also thinking while I was on my drive over here about like adding in some light and how we might be able to use some of the new 1.16 blocks and what might look pretty cool in here for some light is the uh, new soul soil in like some sort of shape down here maybe like maybe if we have it all the way underneath here and then just like stretching out into these parts and with the blue flame on top i'm not really too sure how it will look in here and of course with the black stained glass all around here mobs won't be able to spawn so it'll be mob proof and we can have some maybe like some shroom lights or something in the ceiling or maybe just some lanterns to go along with the theme that we have upstairs as well obviously this is all still a work in progress so it doesn't exactly have to fit the theme i do like the uh andesite st cobblestone and mossy cobble that we've got going on here so that is really nice i also actually don't mind the acacia on the outside here it sort of fits in a little bit with the stone a bit more as well and then on the inside we could have it a little bit more built up with the spruce uh, that we've got here but this is all looking pretty good i'm going to go ahead and get a ceiling and a floor in place now uh, and then we'll come back and again have a look at how it's looking just sort of see what we can change and then after that all we've got to do is get our hoppers in behind here i'm not going to have enough hoppers obviously to in all the chests so i'll just fill in as many as i can and i actually have got a pretty cool design that i've worked out which i will show you right now all right now here we are on my creative test world i've actually got a few projects that i've got going on in here that are going to be coming up in a future episode so i'm going to try not to spoil them but as you can see we've got the combination of three different chests here and if we look back here we've got these hoppers which are filled with actually sorry not those hoppers these hoppers back here have the uh, filters in place which i'm just using my psyllium right for right now and then they've got the stripped variety of logs and then up here one further uh, like one further across so our other hoppers are here and then these ones are here and these also just have the same setup and basically all i've got is a water stream that comes all the way from this hopper and this dropper which will simulate sort of like where our input chest will be which it won't actually be up this high and then we've got some ice underneath all these pressure plates a line of hoppers here which have the item filters then it just drops down here and right through into here as well and these are the other hoppers with the filters so i think that's going to work pretty good obviously we need quite a few hoppers for this we should have enough redstone materials to to make all of this but the hoppers are going to be a tough one we're probably going to need to set up an iron farm and pretty soon in the future so that's it for now let's go and have a look at the progress that i've made on the base radio so quite a bit has actually changed it down here so let's get in here and have a quick look you can see we've got a bit of the blue fire here with some of the soul soil i've dug all this down to bedrock and we've got some black stained glass on top i'm not actually 100 percent sure that i'm happy with this design but uh it is what it is for now so we'll keep it for now I've also gone ahead and removed the trap doors as you can see and the pillars actually go all the way through the glass now too and we've got a nice little ceiling in here so the whole thing is coming together i've also got some uh, spruce stairs here now with the shroom lights in behind the shroom lights are actually really easy to collect they're like a one hit break with the with the diamond axe here so they're really easy to collect and yeah this is looking pretty good actually i'm i'm pretty happy with this i think uh all we need to do I've, I've created as many hoppers as i can and i think on this end this is where we'll have our cobblestone so uh let me get up here real quick so for the cobblestone i'm actually going to have it run six 
all the, like all the way down for one one whole thing. So I need to actually dig out above the chest here as well. And this scaffolding block is like just magic. I actually need to dig these out here too and probably replace them with some stairs. I'm still getting used to being able to place the scaffolding too. But those need to be replaced with stairs. Let me get up on this other side actually. I need to I need to just get up here. So basically, how we're going to place these hoppers is oh, if I can actually just stand on here without without going down, that would be great. Uh, so we want to place two hoppers going into the chest there. We also actually want to place some blocks there for the moment and just place those two hoppers going in there. That's where we'll sort our items. And I can't get that block back, but that's okay. And then we're just going to bring these hoppers all the way down, facing into all these chests. And I might just place some helper blocks here too, because we do want the hoppers here as well. Actually, we don't actually 100% want it right there, because it's only going to be that first one that is going to be uh, all cobblestone. So all, all these chests here will all be cobblestone. So if we come out around here, all of this will be cobblestone and it's actually going to be a bit difficult with those hmm I might have to figure something out else out with the the little divider here so that we can actually get in here maybe just leaving it with uh, maybe just leaving it with room blocks I don't know like that that does look pretty cool we can just like maybe because then you can still access these no you can't because the shroom blocks oh my goodness <laughs> I'm gonna have to figure something out here, but we can't uh, we can't have the shroom blocks above because then we can't access these. So yeah, that is a little bit of an issue, isn't it? Anyway, I've got all of the hoppers that I could possibly create with the iron that I have here. Uh, so I think we're definitely going to need to make some more. Uh, we're gonna need to get some more iron before we can actually go ahead and finish this build off. And I think it'd be best if we did that before we actually uh, put any of the redstone in. I'm going to see how much of this I can actually get filled in with the hoppers. And then we'll come back, see what we've got to work with. And if we can at least maybe get one full row in, I'll start to work on the redstone. But if not, I'm not going to worry about it until I can get all the hoppers placed in. Well, with my stack and a bit of hoppers, all I could get filled in was all of this row here. So all of these are all filled in with the hoppers that we need and just one of the columns on this one here. So yeah, haven't even filled in this side yet. So we're going to need a lot more iron and this was using all of the iron that I had. So I think in the next episode, we're going to create an iron farm or at least start to. And then uh, I also am going to need some massive amounts of leather as well so that we can actually go ahead and like mark out what's actually in the chest so what i will do in the meantime while we're off camera i've accidentally left my water here apparently okay there was a bit of a glitch so what i'm going to do in the meantime between the two episodes as well is just set up like a temporary one wide cow farm you know like with the dispenser and the water and whatnot uh, so i'll get that done I will get some leather and then we will create the iron farm in the next episode. But for now, guys, that is all the time I have left. Let's just take one more look at this magnificent storage system. I love even the tunnels that I've built here, like the little uh, elevators here. They're, they're looking really fantastic with these, these like shroom lights right here. It's looking really good with the cobble and details and things. I'm not too sure about that transition there. I do probably want to change something with the floor and I've also realized that I haven't filled in these walls here yet. Um, I've also got something planned for these sides of the walls so that will come in future episodes. That's why I haven't filled anything in here. Uh, but yeah, this is looking pretty cool. I do like the the raised roof with the little cylinder. I, I'm, I'm loving that and the elevator as well. I think what we can do for one of these is this will be where our input chest will be. Uh, in one of these sections here and then maybe on the other side 
that can be like an entrance to a super smelter or something i'm not sure we we will figure all of that out in future episodes but for now guys that is all the time i've got for today i hope to see you in the next one and if you did enjoy this video please be sure to leave a like rating on your way out until then guys i'll see you in the next one ciao for now